everything in Texas is bigger and bolder. And there was no place that was wilder and maybe more fun than Houston back in the 80s. It's a port city, and I think port cities are more kind of fluid. People are passing through, and maybe they think they won't be remembered so they can act out a little more. It was a tawdry place in a lot of ways. The huge, sprawling gentlemen's clubs were founded here. Breast enhancements were developed here. People were always making themselves up here. In 1986, Anna Nicole's name was Vicki Lynn Smith. She had just moved back to Houston with her son, whose father was out of the picture. She needed a way to support herself. She's very uneducated, and she had to get a quick job or a quick fix in order to take care of her son. So she did start dancing initially, because that's the only way she had a way to make income. My former wife, uh, Melissa, used to work at the executive suite in North Houston. It was a higher class gentlemen's entertainment club, and uh, she was there the day Vicki Smith walked in the door to apply for a job as a waitress and uh, later become a dancer. First thing uh, Melissa, my wife, noticed was that Anna was just terrified, literally terrified. I mean, she was definitely green to that kind of lifestyle. She was always tall, a large girl, and she was very self-conscious about that and very, very shy, introverted. It was tough taking my clothes off, and it was tough doing the table dances. The day that I went on to dance the first time, I, I ran out because I was so horrified and so ashamed of myself. But when I was driving to work, I looked down and saw all this money in my and I was like, wow, it was like $50. <laughs> like, whoa, $50. And back then, that was a lot of money for me. She was living with her friend, Melissa, and her son, Daniel, was living with her mother, Virgie. Anna wanted him to move in with her. Her biggest fear was that Daniel would forget about her and not ever want to be with her again. Daniel was her life. <laughs> she said, I'm, I am going to be the sexiest in here because I need money and I need to take care of my son and she pulled that off <laughs> very quickly. And I've represented some strippers as a criminal defense attorney. They're assessing the room. They're looking for the guy who has an ability to spend. Then they have to figure out, well, which role does he want me to play? Anna developed a baby's voice when she talked to guys, and uh, she would get in that mode, and they would just break down. They would eat that up. The irony is that when she started out, Anna Nicole was, in her own words, flat-chested. She didn't have B, C, D. She didn't have that. She had little tiny breasts. And so she begins saving money and now begins to engage in a series of breast augmentation procedures. That's when she really started making the big bucks. Men loved the fact that here was this big old Texas girl with that big old blonde Texas hair. Believe it or not, as good as she was at dancing, it was still in her mind that this was just not who I am. She never felt comfortable with it. She would just continuously say, you know, I, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I'm, I'm disrespecting myself, my mother, my child. So it's 1991, and Vicky's been dancing for four years, when an unlikely figure is wheeled in the front door. He is J. Howard Marshall II. J. Howard Marshall is about to change Vicky's life because he is not your average 87-year-old billionaire. J. Howard Marshall comes from a prominent East Coast family. He's Yale-educated, works in the Roosevelt administration on oil projects, and eventually becomes associated with the famous Koch brothers, which turns him into a billionaire. So Marshall's second wife is stricken with Alzheimer's, and he's a very lonely man. So he then begins a 10-year relationship with a very exotic, flamboyant stripper named Lady Walker. 
he lavished her with flowers, love notes, diamonds. He was still married, and both he and Lady Walker agreed that it would be very wrong uh, for them to have sex. He spent millions and millions of dollars on her over the years. But whatever their relationship was about, it didn't seem to be about sex. He felt like he was her protector. He would write her these florid romantic notes, which she would respond to in kind. And along with giving her these florid romantic notes, he'd give her checks, lots of them. So the relationship is very devoted, but Lady Walker suddenly dies. Here was Marshall. He'd lost his wife, who he really did love, to Alzheimer's. He'd lost his paramour, who I think he really did love, uh, who died on the operating table getting a facelift. So it's October 1991, and Marshall is despondent. So when he wheels into Gigi's one lunchtime and sees this 24-year-old blonde dancer in front of him, his heart is taken. He had no will to live, and I went over to see him. And he got a little twinkle in his eyes, and um, he asked me to dance for him, and I did. Um, he was very funny, really funny. He got um, very brilliant, um, very smart. Uh, gosh, he had so many stories. I mean, he just. Oh, he was an amazing man. He was just really amazing. From the very first time she met Howard, she thought of him as a grandfather figure. And once we met Howard, I mean, you thought the same way. Very likable man, very knowledgeable, very smart. They would phone call every day and talk to each other. And they were so cute on the phone. She would call him sugar Booker and sweetheart and all that. And they needed each other in more of a sense than people understood. Um, and so they just took care of each other. Marshall had two sons, and the son he was closest to was Pierce Marshall, who was this very upright, waspy, proper person. I think Anna Nicole would have just sent him screaming from the room. Pierce wants to put an end to it right away, but J. Howard Marshall II tells his son Pierce she makes me enjoy life again, but out. So within a week of meeting Vicky, Marshall proposes marriage. She says no, because she's determined to make something of herself on her own. So what J. Howard Marshall doesn't know is that Vicky is in love with someone else. And in this case, it's a woman. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.